The goal of creating artificial intelligence was to create an all-seeing eye, a global computer that sees all, sees everything, and to become gods. Nanobots, these blood cell sized devices, will be going in our bodies. I will have some go inside our brains through the capillaries, non-invasively. They'll be interacting with our biological neurons. So they'll put our brains on the internet, and they'll also enable us to enter a virtual reality environment from within the nervous system. So if I want to go in a virtual reality environment, the nanobots will shut down the signals coming from my real eyes and my real skin and create the signals that would be appropriate for the virtual environment. And then it'll feel like I'm in that environment. If we have algorithms that stimulate the right things and give it the right data, they could reprogram you in a way without you even knowing it. It is called the sentient world simulation. The program's aim, according to its creator, is to be a continuously running, continually updated mirror model of the entire planet, complete with billions of nodes representing every person on the Earth. The Sentient World Simulation, SWS, went live in 2007, which represents every person on the planet within this computer matrix as a node, and every node is given an avatar, an identifier. And that is real-time, 24-7 monitoring of every person on the planet. This is primarily, but not exclusively, facilitated by the adiabatic quantum computers produced by D-Wave Corporation. At the time of initial reports on the program, there were only 62 country-level simulations being run by the U.S. Department of Defense. These simulations grouped humans into composites, with 100 individuals acting as a single node. The ultimate aim would be to archive enough data on each individual to be able to make a computer model of everyone on the planet. In the human genome, we have a finite in the hundreds of thousands of different genes across our species. And we mapped them out in the Human Gene Project. Well, now it's the Human Mind Project, the Global Brain Project. They're trying to decipher every possible thought and uniqueness Due to culture and language and the goal is to make a cognitive model or map of the victim's brain ultimately the system replicates and digitizes the will intellect and emotions the soul of the targets and downloads this back into the conscious computer artificial intelligence ai the idea is to port the software from the human brain first we're going to need lots of cheap fast parallel computers he was referring to parallel processors about servers what he did not state was that it is actually the quantum computer systems coming out of D-Wave that actually creates and drives this new matrix known as the SWS. It is not transistor-based servers that run this. They are qubits, quantum bits. It is the SWS and D-Wave that comprises this new matrix. To scan individual human brains in fine spatial and chemical detail to see exactly what cells are where, connected of what or what type, we could scan my brain from inside, sending scanners through the bloodstream, billions of them in the form of nanorobots or nanobots, and capture every detail of my synapses and neurotransmitters <coughs> and create a virtual Ray Kurzweil in a very powerful computer. And it would be indistinguishable. We're going to need computer models of how each kind of brain cell works, taking input signals, changing interval state, and sending output signals. The Manhattan Project gave us the atomic bomb. The Genome Project gave us the human genome. The third great initiative could be the Connectome Project to map the entire human brain. And that may take a quantum computer. And this means that in the future, communications could be done mentally. What I'm saying is that the internet will be replaced by BrainNet. They can, they were talking about AI that is so sophisticated that it operates a sentient world simulation, so sophisticated that it actually taps in and controls the mind. And Google uh, was the primary uh, interested party that pulled this whole thing together. The VOD is developing a parallel to planet Earth with billions of individual nodes to reflect every man, woman and child. Deep State has merged the quantum computer with the sentient world simulation. And the true reason for all this data collection is to feed it into this AI machine to predict and manipulate the course of humanity. Even now, the sentient world simulation is watching you learn about it. And inside its intelligent mind is creating a second you, running different scenarios against you to see how you react.